Hey Cash or Derek here, Bake Six Clan. Today I've got three tips for you when you are placing cash. And it doesn't matter if it's a gadget cash or what type of cash, these three tips will help you when you place it. With HQ making this year of the high, a lot of people are putting caches out, but the thing is, some don't really know all the steps to be able to put those caches out and to make it, they're running into some snags and it's having a lot of heartache. Well, these three tips that I'm gonna give you today will help with that heartache. And so it makes it a lot easier and it'll be a lot smoother if you follow these three tips. First, it's gonna be location, all right? So, well, you th well that's kind of obvious. Well, scout out the location, find where you're gonna put it. Now, if you have a cache like my Cowboy Cache, which is a themed cache, and you've got a really great place where that's gonna go, like that one's gonna go, for me, out by a horse riding arena. So I thought that was really cool. And that leads into kind of the next part of the location aspect of it. Ask permission from the landowner. And you know what? When you ask permission from the landowner, maybe they'll tell you how to mount it. And that goes into the next tip, which is placement. All right, so when you place the cache and it's like a birdhouse, like a lot of what I make, how are you gonna mount that? Are you gonna mount it to a tree? So do you need to use like some chains or some tie down somehow that you can mount it to the tree without screwing it to the tree. Um, some places will not allow you to put screws into the tree. And that's also in the guidelines from HQ not to put screws in the tree. However, there is an exception. What if you ask the landowner for permission, like you do in the location aspect of this, and they say, hey, you know, how do you want me to mount this to the tree? They may have specific ways they would like you to mount to the tree. So they may allow you to put screws into it. And that's okay because it's the land owner's tree and you have permission to do that. Just let the reviewer know. Also, the part of the placement is, if it's a birdhouse, is there a pole or something that you can mount it to that way? And that's another aspect of it. So figure out that placement of how you're gonna mount a birdhouse or if there is a place that you can kind of sneak it away if you're hiding just a regular type of cache. And the, the people might not see it maybe out of sight of muggles as they're walking by, that they don't actually see the cache itself. So placement is very key. This next step, you've got your location, you got your placement, maybe you don't know who to ask for permission, but you haven't put the cache out yet. Tip number three, and I think this is really, really a great tip, is message the reviewer. All right, so if you're placing the cache and you got, you got your location, if you know how you're gonna place it, but you need to f don't know who to ask, go ahead and put the cash, start putting the cash page together if you don't know who the reviewer is and say, hey, I need to do a cord check and I wanna ask you if there's any special rules that I need to know about before I actually put this cash out there in this placement or like here in Memphis, there's a lot of mystery caches and with a mystery cache, if you don't know this, the, where the pin is, it could be up to two miles of a radius of where the actual cache is. So you may be placing the cache in, in that location and not even aware that there is another final stage of a multi or of a mystery in that location. So kind of do a course check and check that out. Very good tip. And also when messaging the reviewer, you know, be nice. They're there to help you. They don't want to discount your cash hide because remember they're cashers too and they like going out and finding caches as well. And so message reviewers say, hey, I'm looking at this location. Is there any special rules? Is there, if it's you're putting into a park, hey, I'm putting it into this park. Do they have any special rules with no caches? Because you know what? More than likely, somebody has already tried putting a cache there and they'll know maybe some of the steps that you can take to go through that. So message the reviewer. You can do that by creating the cache page and just put in, hey, this is a cords check. All right. I hope this has helped. Now, if you want some more tips where I actually talked to a reviewer and he was giving some tips, check out the card above me and that has some more tips there. And that's my local reviewer here and he has been doing this for many years and so check that out. Leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what are some other tips that you would give in this video of, of when people are placing caches. Now remember, the three tips are location, placement, and message the reviewer and get a court's final check to make sure everything is okay before you place your cash. All right, leave me a comment down below. I hope to see you in the next video, just right over here, where you can find the story behind the cash.